I think there's a couple of more points, a couple other points we want to make about moving. For instance, picking up the reference point. Okay, when you select uh, when you select an object, and you ne now need to precisely position that corner over here. All right. So how do I do that? If I right click this little thing, okay, it comes up with this option called Edit Reference Point. And you can see the keyboard shortcut is the letter D. So we'll edit the reference point. And what this does is it allows me to move this reference point to a point of interest. So what I'll do is I'll move it onto the vertex here. So I turn my snap modes back on by turning this off. So now these become active. So now I'm going to snap to either the middle or the ends of lines because I've got middle point and vertex on. So now I can snap to the end of this line just by clicking there. So you see now the reference point has moved. That yellow reference point is now on this corner. So now I can simply click this. I'm not dragging. This is very important and this is why I don't like the drag. is because now I can go and snap somewhere else of interest. And in this case I'm interested in the end of this line. So I can just move on to that line. You see it doesn't matter where I am as long as I'm on this side close enough to this corner to define it. And then I'll click there and it'll snap onto the end of that line. Mm -hmm. All right. So moving that reference point is very important. And what, maybe sometimes you even want to put it back and go back to the default center point. So it's all in this right click, right clicking this, this yellow reference point. You can get to edit it or change it back to its default. Um, yeah, two things I'd like to point out in regards to that. The keyboard shortcuts or seeks can also be used for snapping the default reference point to uh, an end point or vertex. Right. Um, secondly, something that I've noticed which is kind of interesting, if you just draw a horizontal line and you... Okay, I'm going to make it horizontal by holding the shift key down. You okay. see, if I, if I hold the shift key down, I move in the... it'll be either horizontal or vertical. So I'm going to click now my mouse now. I held the shift key down all the time to force it to be orthogonal. Okay, so now if you were to select it so it's editable, and by the way, the select tool shortcut on the keyboard is the space bar. Yeah. Take that, select the line. The parameters at the bottom of the screen that indicate the size on the X in this case, um, if we were to change those parameters with the reference point in the center of the line, then the object would resize symmetrically um, outward. Uh, okay, I see the point you're trying to make. Yeah, there. and let me just uh, draw something here quickly. I'm going to go V there and there, and V there and there. Okay, so now we can clearly see where the ends of these lines okay, are. Good. Okay. So now, if you were to resize that that line using the size X field. Okay, so let's make that three now. And, and hit enter, and you see what happens. Okay. That that move completes. It is still symmetric. It it took off, uh, you know, a couple inches on each side. As an alternative, if you were to undo that and then move the reference point, D, so D and V, and now do the same resize, notice what's going to happen here. Okay, so the, so the reference point stayed in the same place. Correct. And the object scaled around the reference point. Okay, and that's also applicable when you using this little green rotation handle. That's something we haven't discussed yet, is where the, this little rotation handle allow you to rotate something around. And that also is in relation to the reference point. Uh, so let me right click and go back to the default reference point, which is in the middle. And now you see when I rotate it, it rotates around that yellow reference point. Whereas then I go D again to pick up the reference point and V to drop it at the corner. Now I'm rotating it around the new reference point. So this little yellow reference point is, is very, very important in, in the concepts involved with TurboCAD. And pretty much every object that you've drawn in TurboCAD uh, has a reference point and it, it affects how the object behaves in the drawing.